Welcome back to the DeFi Football YouTube channel this week. I'm with Ben from Cod Vlogs, who is a Fleetwood fan. We're going to be speaking about Paddy Madden and his uh, uh, moment potential move to Stockport, although by the time you're watching this, it may have already been a, a done deal. Um, first, of, first of all, Ben's channel will be uh, linked in the description so you can go and have a watch of that. Lots of, sort of, let's say, mostly Fleetwood, but also just general League One and, and lower league news and, and sort of reviews. Would that be sort of a fair description of your channel? Yeah, uh, I like I like talking about all teams really, and um, like I say, I, I just love talking about football really, mate. So uh, any footballing news, I like to give an opinion on. So this video we're going to be uh, speaking about Paddy Madden and his move to Stockport. And uh, at the moment, as we're recording this, it is on a potential move that's set to go through. Uh, by the time you're watching this, it may have already uh, gone through. So. Um, Stock quote sort of situation then generally is they've been near top of league for most of the season, sacked their manager Jim Gannon. Uh, I think it was about last month, um, you know, a few weeks ago. New managers come in, and the sort of general problem stock put have had for the whole of the season is they create loads of chances, but don't score enough according to the chances. They're actually somewhat high in the goal scoring, goal scoring, you know, tables, but for the number of chances they create, they don't score enough. So it would make sense then that they would bring in a League One proven striker, dropping two divisions to try and help them, you know, cement a place in the playoffs, maybe even sort of go for, you know, the <clears> league. <throat> so first of all, what type of player is is Paddy Baden from what you've seen is, is two or three seasons at Fleetwood? Yeah, I think he's a goal poacher, um, someone that will work hard for the team. And he's one that will drop deep if he needs. I think Paddy Madden... Every time the opposition have a corner, he always comes back on it. He pretty much wins the header all the time. And he'll run himself into the ground for you. He'll press the goalkeeper. And um, he's not blessed with speed, but he will absolutely run and run and run all day. He's a natural finisher in front of goal, any angle. You know, Madden only needs maybe two chances in League One. Uh, the movements that he makes are very subtle and very, you know, very sweet. You know, this season, only seven goals in 33 games, which is a poor season for Paddy Madden, really. And normally he'd be on about 14, 15 goals by now. Um, I would, you know, I could see why he'd go to Stockport. It's a big club, you know, a chance to play in the Football League, longer term contract. Um, we only have 15 months left of his contract here. And we maybe not be able to guarantee himself a contract after that. I would give him one personally to keep him at the club. He's 11 away from the all-time league one goal scoring. I think he's on 100. 21, if my memory serves me right, which is an unbelievable feat. Um, and it's not just with Fleetwood, he's had good spells with Scunthorpe United and Yeovil amongst them. So everywhere he's gone, he's been loved. He's scored goals. He's a poacher inside the box. He scores different types of goals. But I'd say 90% of his goals are, are inside the 18-yard box, a proper League One strike. And if you can get 15 goals just from that, it's the difference between finishing mid-table and in the playoffs. So Stockport's situation then is, you know, not scoring enough compared to their chances, like I said. What type of, you know, Stockport will obviously see what type of chances their players are creating, the wingers and, you know, people through the middle. If you were to sort of, if you like, design chances, if you like, for him, for, for Paddy to score, that would be the best one, you know, of the highest sort of chance of him scoring, what type of chances would you sort of design for him, if you like? Use his movement, use his movement. Paddy's a very good mover. He's, I think he's 31 now. Um, you know, he's, he likes getting in behind defenses, splitting a back four or a back five, and he does it very well. He gets in behind both centre halves and, you know, can cause them danger. You know, get, slide the ball into him in the 18 yard box, give him, a, you know, that second to shoot. And then, you know, he'll find the back of the net like Paddy does. You know, he can outwit goalkeepers. He can, you know, his movements are terrific sometimes. And, um, in my opinion, he's one of the best League One strikers still. Even though he's not scoring many goals, he's still contributing. I think he's got four or five assists this season. So get the ball to his feet in the 18-yard box and make sure you're using his movements because he will get you 10, 15 goals at National League level. Although it does remind me of maybe when you know Adam Rooney went to Salford, didn't he, in the National League, and he was playing in the Scottish Premiership, probably a League One or a League Two player who scored loads of goals there. His goals came in the 18-yard box. So give him his penalties, give him his, the ball to his feet in the 18-yard box. And, and for a little man, he's very good with his head. So maybe even a couple of good chances um, crosses into the box. 
Uh, one player to talk about Ivy is, is Richie Bennett. I think he's like six foot four. And a lot of stats we've been putting out on the Twitter page sort of say he doesn't score a lot, but he does create lots of chances, tall guy in the air and stuff like that. How do you think that would work with, with Paddy Madden? Is that, you know, perhaps a, a side of him that could work with Richie Bennett up top? Absolutely. And he's played with Chad Evans, who's a, a over six foot, who's a target man. And he's how it worked, really. Chad Evans, if we, were, if we needed to go long in some situations, we would. Chad Evans would come into play, hold the ball up, and Madden would make the moves in behind him, you know, try and get into the back four because he's that good of a... Um, of, with his movement and, you know, getting at defences. So I think it could work well. Obviously, Bennett, a bit taller, a bit stronger. So he can knock on a lot and Manning can chase it down. Um, only one thing I would say, Paddy Man's been dropping it a bit too deep for me of late. I don't know if he's been told, but I think sometimes you just need to stay up front to get the best out of him. But I can see easily if he goes to Stockport before now and sees, I think, what, we've got what, 15, 18 games left in the, na- in the National League. I think he'd score at least 10 goals in that league. Um, he's a phenomenal strike and I'd be gutted to see him go. What reason then would he have for leaving Fleetwood? Because we think about it, Fleetwood yeah. sort of in and around mid-table, I think, in League One, still chance of a playoffs potentially, I think, with a good run. Why would he leave them for a National League side? Do you prefer our, our near the top? Is it a case of age and sort of wanting a longer yeah. contract? What do you think? Yeah, uh, I, I, can, I can agree with that. Um, Fleetwood a couple of weeks ago in a relegation battle and you've got 10 points from 12 or 11 points from 15 against good sides in Ch- uh, Charlton, Accrington, Lincoln, Shrewsbury and Blackpool. Um, so do do we think we're safe now you know, with you know 47 points, probably about three or four points needed from the last 11 games? It's still possible to go down, but I think it's a quite the bad run. I don't think we'll get the playoffs. So I think for Paddy, it's up to him now. He's you know 31 years of age. He's only got 15 months left in his contract at Fleetwood. Fleetwood won't be able to guarantee him a new deal till possibly next year. So for me, I, I just feel like right now, I just feel it would be in his interest to go to Stockport. It's a big club, chance to play football league again with um, with County, a huge club. He'd get a bigger contract, probably a two or a three year deal, which would secure his family till he's probably 34, 35, which he needs. But like I say, he could have another year at Fleetwood, like this is from himself, and then maybe drop into the National League because there's still time from at 32, 33 for him to drop. He's 11 away from the record. I'd love for him to hit it. And uh, but from a financial point of view and a contract point of view, it would make sense that he left for Stockport and uh, now. So let's go a quick go uh, over Paddy Madden's numbers for, for League One. So we've got sort of, you know, his early days, early days sort of in, with Carlisle away, weren't, you know, scoring uh, loads, at least of the numbers I've got here, but his season with Yeovil in 12-13, he scored 22 and 35. Then in the Championship, didn't score any but then went to League Two, has scored five in 21 in the half season. Then in League One, 14 in 46, 20 in 46, 11 in 34, and then two in 20. That's when he obviously went to Fleetwood, scored six in 20, and then 15 in 44, 15 in 35, and then seven in 32. So you look at those numbers consistently performing at League yeah. One level with an obviously off-season here and there, as you'd expect. So, you know, you would think, I think perhaps even some of the League One teams might take him, especially ones down at the bottom, you know. League Two teams would definitely take him. So for National League, then that looks quite good for him. Yeah, and that's what I mean. You know, seven goals in 33 is a poor season. He's normally be on 15 goals by now. But um, he's still a good striker. He's still knocking them in. You know, hardly that. Any, not, none of them are penalties as well. So he's still scoring goals at League One level. And... Um, you know, National League, the defenders are a bit slow where they don't read the game quite as quick. So I think for Paddy Madden, he, he'd score 20, 25 goals in the season in that. And, um, but I'd love to see him at the League One record, like I've mentioned it many, many times. And that League One sort of record, I think that's what you're quite... And listen, I like those types of records as well, most sort of goals and, and things like that. Um, is there anything else about him then that you think would be of, of interest to Stockport fans watching this, wanting to know a bit about him? Yeah, I think obviously he's you know a hard worker, he's a leader on the pitch, he's experienced, and um, he's a good example for the fans, he's a good example for the young lads. Never give up, fight till the end. 
And he's a, he's a good he's a good apple, really. And he's one of those types of guy that you want to go through the trenches with. So he's not one of those that'll go down to non-league and go, look, I I played for Fleetwood, I played for Yeovil, I played for Carlisle uh, and Scunthorpe, and I'm better than you. He he will sympathise with them, and he, and he the main name will be promotion there. And um, he's nearly done it at Scunthorpe. He's done it at Yeovil. He scored a brilliant goal in the playoff final, one of the best goals. I think Wembley will ever see um, in the playoff final, put it that way. And he's nearly done it with Fleetwood. So his main aim will be going to Stockport and um, making it, I think, third or fourth time lucky through the playoffs. And that's something that would be key as well, that he has been involved with the playoffs so many times, not always winning the course, but in a battle coming towards the end of the season and eventually getting in, that would obviously be a vital experience to, to Stockport. Yeah, absolutely. The, the last few times with... Um, with Fleetwood and Scunthorpe, they've not gone quite, quite to plan. But I, I, I believe that he, he will learn from that. He'll get better. He'll, you know, he'll carry on scoring, and you know, he, he's a good, he's a good apple, and he, you, you know, he, he will help Stockport win promotion. And Stockport are a sleeping giant. They should never be in that division. They should be a League One club fight for promotion, in my opinion. And also as well with the, the National League, as we, we've seen over the past few years, lots of big teams like perhaps even like Stockport um, in there, you know, just looking at, you've got sort of like Notts Counties, your Wrexhams, Hartlepools, you know, these teams who should be at very least sort of League Two level, lots of big teams. He'll be used to playing against some of these bigger teams, like Sunderland in, in League One, playing against these big teams in the National League. That's something that would, would be, uh, you know, again, experience he's sort of used to playing against some of these bigger teams, but it might not seem too different to him. Yeah, that, I think mean, that, you're bang on. And this year, I don't think it's too as bad because there's no fans in, but he can settle them down. You know what I mean? And you'll just go, lads, if you want to go up, you have to play this occasion every week. And, you know, and the lad could rise to that. So him having experience, it's not just experience of playing, you know, 100 games, 200, 300, 400, 500 games and scoring, you know, a goal every three games. It's, uh, the experience of playing at a ground or the experience of, you know, losing a game and the feeling on a Sunday or winning a game and going back to back and winning four or five in a row. So, like I say, it's all different kinds of experience that Paddy Madden can bring to the table. Would you say there are any sort of downsides of him that may run against him, um, either as a player or as a guy out of anything? Yeah, sometimes with referees and get a bit hot headed in the moment, but you want that in you know your play, your striker, your skipper really. And you know, he let us down in the players by getting sent off by his temper. But you know, we were four one down, hadn't gone to plan, you know, probably should have had a penalty, mad and not happy. So they can cool his temper with um non-league referees or part or even worse, you know, league one, league two referees part-time. Um you know, that's that's probably his only, you know, down effect. He's sometimes his conduct with referees and he does like a shirt pull. So uh, if you can be careful, uh, I think he'll be OK. There you go. Thanks, that mate. Sort of good overview of him. Um, I'll say this again, obviously, like I said at the start, link to all of Ben's stuff will be linked in the description. So again, do you want to say again what it is you do uh, on your channel? Yeah, um, I just do League One content and Fleetwood Town content, so any support will be appreciated. Thank you for having me on, mate. Yeah, that's it. And to everyone watching this, bit of a shorter video, I think maybe about 20 minutes, which we're looking to do more of these sort of reactions to news. Uh, so to anyone watching this, be sure to, you know, hit subscribe and let us know you want more more of this type of thing and share it about either to some, you know, some of the Stockport fans or whoever, so they can sort of, you know, get an overview of, hopefully, a guy listed recording this, set to be new play, but like I said, as the time you're, as you're watching this, it may have already been confirmed. Um, but yeah, thanks, Ben, for for taking time out and telling Perfect, us about that. Thank you very much.